Fernandes went for it. Pau just did enough to get it to Messi. Drew 3 to him again. And the card is out again. And Vidal needs also to be careful, putting hands on the referee. He's got a yellow and he wasn't even involved in it. And Argentina doing their very best to wind him up further. They're all hugging, embracing in the tunnel before kickoff like it was a testimonial. You'd never know it now. But the frustration is all on Chile's side here and Argentina know that and they're doing their best just to crank it up further and get people into trouble if they can. So Vidal booked, although he was not involved in the original offence and now of course the referee is being told by the VAR when we're looking over the rest of that incident. This is where it started with Messi winning a free kick against Medel and surely no argument about that. Back to him. Pressure from Bosajor. Scaloni assisted at this tournament by several of the old guard from the 90s playing stars like Pablo Amar, Roberto Ayala and Walter Samuel. But the camp has been a happy one by all reports. Seen to safety by Medel. Oh. They were hugging each other in the tunnel before it started. Now look at them. A red is out. And it's... An incident involving Leo Messi. Out of absolutely nothing. And now the whole world waits to find out whether it's for Medel and Messi. It's unclear at this moment. Medel really lost it. He's done this so often through his career, I must say. And shame on him for that. He's still lost it. It seems clear that Medel is off. He's not going willingly or easily. All in all, one can say that Argentina, as well as winning the game, have done a first-class job of winding Chile up here this evening. But Chile have fallen for it big time. And it looks as though we believe he's also sending off Leo Messi. That is what we're being told, that it is both Medel and Messi. And now, red card incident, the VAR are looking at it. He could possibly rescind a card, but what a story this is. If this tournament ends on this note for the great Messi. The man in the middle of it all, Mario Alberto Diaz de Vivar, the referee here has created the biggest headline, one of the biggest of the tournament. He's still insisting that they go. The player's probably asking the referee, well, go, if you are sure, just go and look at it all again. But he it would be really exceptional for him to change his mind and he would lose so much authority if he did that, surely. He may have been too rash in bringing out the red card. But he won't be forgotten, this referee, for what he's done here.
and I must say he does not appear to have the sense of authority or the respect of the players and this is a problem Medell appears now to be willing to accept the inevitable here's what started it the little nudge by Messi Medell right in his face Messi stands his ground Medell keeps coming Another referee on another occasion might have just got them over and given them a stern talking to. Not this man. And another low point for Leo Messi. Messi sent off in the third and fourth place playoff game for Argentina here. Medell's already down the tunnel. So it's going to be 10-0.